going on? Lisa. We got in a huge fight. Over the chore wheel? Really? It's not about the chore wheel, it's about everything. It's about him not caring enough about the chore wheel, which is him not caring enough about me. She doesn't like how my juicer leaves some juice splatters, you know? She just looks at me like a idiot and just storms out. When in the fight did you have time to roll up your short sleeves? And he didn't even care. Oh, I see. So in this situation, you're the chore wheel. And he spilled juice all over me. Oh, and juices. And the juice is just juice. Love is a drag. There's no way I'm bringing it up. You show any weakness, that sets a dangerous precedent, you know? Part of me thinks he doesn't even realize that I'm still angry at him. I mean, like, a part of me feels that I just need to call him. No, Lisa, you can't call him. Why? Because isn't the whole point of having an argument to win? And if you call him, it's like you're you're throwing in the towel. Stop thinking about calling her, man. I am not. You are. Are you still mad about- No. I think you gotta have a talk about this chore wheel <sighs> with her. I know, but how do you bring it up? Hey, you really hurt my feelings before when you said no like that. Hey, Lisa, can we talk about the chore wheel? It's complicated. I live with her. I can't escape these things. It's just so different now that we live together. It's just annoying. It just makes you more mad at the other person. You start like hating the way they walk, hating the way they smell, hating the way they brush their teeth. Everyone hates the way Kip smells. It's not just you because you live with him. Hmm. So don't feel bad about that. Before we lived together, I could just ignore the whole situation and it would just kind of like pass over. Yeah. But now I got this super angry girl at home that I have to go face. When you don't live together, makeup sex actually exists. That goes away. Oh my God, it goes away. We're fighting about the chore wheel and the juicer, but I, I actually don't think it's about that. I think it's deeper than that. Is this fight really worth holding a grudge? Yeah, no way, man. There's there's no way I'm calling her. He hasn't called me, he hasn't tweeted at me, he hasn't commented on any Instagram photos, and I took a really cute one of us earlier in the office. Really? Yeah. The Kipster is not weak. That's one thing I am not. Don't call her. Don't call Kip. Dude, I'll be right back. I gotta go to the bathroom. Hanging up. Hanging up. Why? That was a test, dude. You failed. It was ringing. Yep. Give me it. Give it. Give it. Leave it. Leave it. Leave it. Good. I don't even remember what we were fighting about. I think it had something to do with like you not understanding when and when not to laminate things. But I honestly, at this point, I can't even tell because it's just been like all day. You should get her flowers. My dad told me that any time he ever got into a fight with my mom that he'd just get her flowers and then it was like, poof, fight over. Really? Yeah. Harley? Hey, babe. Hi, honey. We're good. Oh, I'm so sorry, baby. I'm, why did we fight? Yeah, I don't want to fight either. I don't even care about the juicer. It's good that you're healthy. I want you to live forever. I love you. You're my little squirrel pants, please. I love you. I love you. I love you. I. Hey! Dude, what happened to your face? Carly. I'm out on the court, and who do I see but Brett? Kind of had this weird moment. Am I the stupidest woman in the world? Why would I ever break up with this guy? Look how much ice cream we ate together.